Hello YouTube, it's Shubri Bunnies. Today we are going over all of my Christmas lounge flies. Um, it's kind of a mess right now. I tried to put out like all of my Christmas, but it's been really, really busy. <laughs> and if you hear a howling dog in the background, <laughs> I'm dog sitting a couple dogs and the rat terriers and the one, she's still a puppy, so she doesn't get this whole like bedtime thing. <laughs> But anyway, let's get started. So if you're new here, hello. If you're one of my returning subscribers on my blueberries, hiya, love ya. So yeah, let's get started. So this is the bag I'm using right now. It goes with these ears. This is uh, Mickey and Minnie. They are gingerbread ears. And this is the bag. It has the Fab Five on it. So we've got Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, and it's super cute, and sprinkles, so I guess the Fab Four. Uh, the other bag that I have that goes with this, it's up here, I'll do it next, that has Pluto, but this one doesn't. So they're really cute, I put the Bath and Body Works Gingerbread, that was from this year, on there. You can hold your lounge fly ears in this pocket. And then this is the main pocket to your bag. And then this is what the inside looks like. Gumdrop Mickeys and Minis and little stars. And the wallet that I'm using is lounge fly. And I thought that I have this bag, but I don't. But it is Mickey and Minnie in front of a fireplace. And the back is Pluto writing a Christmas letter to Santa, which I have this bag of Pluto writing letter, but I don't have this bag. So this is the gingerbread bag that's the gingerbread house. I'm going to take this when I go later this month to a Christmas train kind of event. Everything should look all Christmas. It's going to be so much fun. So this is a gingerbread house. Um, so these are actually all popped up. They're 3D. I don't know if you can see that. Gumdrops, gobstoppers, um, a Christmas wreath here, Donald, Daisy, Mickey, Minnie, and this is a pouch. That's a pocket. The side has sprinkles. And then the back has Pluto as a gingerbread in his dog house. Super cute. The inside's the same as the other bag. That like Mickey gumdrops and stuff. Also the roof is glittery. I don't know if you can tell that right now, but it has glitter. The straps on this one are white when the other one they were red. I love that shape. I can't wait to wear that when we go on the Christmas train. So this is another lounge fly wallet that I have. I don't have like a lot of wallets. Um, so I think this is like the only other Christmas wallet I have, but we'll see. So this is a wreath with Mickey and Minnie. And it has Pluto, Goofy, Donald, and Minnie. And there's all Christmas lights. And then the inside is just white and they do have a pattern where it's green with them with bows. This is the bag that I said match my wallet of Pluto writing to Santa. This is Pluto and it says to Santa and it even has a Mickey um, peppermint stamp. This is fake velvet. In the back Santa writes back and gives Pluto this huge bone. He's also wearing a Santa hat. I don't know if you can tell that. But this bag, nobody knew who it was. It's like Gen Z or younger. Only elderly people noticed and knew who this was. Um, so there is Pluto. It's got a pocket. He's writing to Santa. What was on the back of that one um, wallet. And then some mistletoe and snow. This is a Disney Parks. Um, Christmas bag. This was from 2020, 2021. But this is Disney Christmas snacks. So these are snacks you could get in the park. 
We've got um, Mickey ice cream bar, which they never do it with the Christmas like Santa hats. These Christmas cookies you can get like almost every year. We have this, let's see if you can see it on this side. This Mickey um, marshmallow little guy here that's supposed to look like a snowman. We've got Christmas churros, which I did have Christmas churros this year. Alice tea, and then this is from it's Small World. And that's what the teacups are from, is from Alice. So it's really cute. This one was from the year that it came out, Bath and Body Works. It does have pockets. This was actually my second bag. The first bag that they sent me, this strap was coming undone, like the paint. And uh, they sent me another one. So then this has boots and trees and snowflakes is the inside. So it's super cute. I haven't gotten to use it, but I want to. I love Disney food. And um, that's one thing that I love to buy when it's a lounge fly. I don't know. Probably because one of my first bags ever was the... Um, it's not on display right now. But the snack bag that's blue. It's really old school. So, yeah. This is another Disney Parks bag. This one was from last year. We have a peppermint pocket that's Mickey shape. And then we have this beautiful pattern that has sugar cookies and candy canes and peppermints and snow. And the straps are striped like peppermint, so cute. We have a gingerbread charm that's Mickey there on the side. I have a wallet from a few years ago, but it's really like a change purse. It looks like this. And then we also get this beautiful handle with that type of um, like strap connected to it, which I like that hardware. It is gold hardware, which I thought stood out quite a bit. And then the inside is candy canes and peppermint Mickeys. I actually have the pajamas, it's like a onesie, and it is this pattern too. I didn't use that bag because this was the other bag that was out and it is Mickey and Minnie and it's the slopes. It reminds me of my place here in the Rockies. So they're going skiing. This moves around. It's like an ornament. You can see the beautiful like ski lodge here. This, I don't know if you can tell, but it's indented with snowflakes all through the whole entire bag. And on the back, we have Pluto, and it says Hot Cocoa Mine. <laughs> Using it in day two, this broke off in the park. So I took it in, and they gave me a new one. I haven't used it, this new one yet, but... And then the inside, I have a wallet from Hot Topic, and them all playing in the snow. And then here's the back. I bought a whole bunch of these because they were really clearance. Gave them as Christmas presents. And then last year. And then the inside's just gray because it's Hot Topic. The inside's always a solid color. And then just red. And I'm pretty sure it has a pocket. This is also from Hot Topic. I wanted this bag so bad and it sold out. So all I got was the wallet, which I've used quite a bit. Gingerbread, Mickey, mini cupcakes, peppermints, candy cane, and ice cream. Ah, love it, love it, love it. Lounge Fly Hot Chocolate Mickey. This is a handle, by the way, for hot chocolate. Sprinkles, whipped cream, this is the inside, Mickey hot chocolates with candy canes and green Mickey sprinkles like you get in the park. The back says Disney, lounge fly, and this strap is candy canes, super cute, it used to smell like, um, this is smell like hot cocoa. It doesn't anymore. Super cute. 
It was from last year and I got it on sale this year and got my niece one. And then this is by Stitch Shop or Shoppy. It is lounge fly as well. It is a crossbody gingerbread house. So there's the gumdrop, snow, candy canes, frosting. This has glitter too, but I don't know if you could tell that. Here's the door. It opens. There's Minnie. And here's this side. This tree, they're all chibi little kids. <laughs> so cute. And they even have little Donald. I mean, not Donald. Goofy, Donald, Daisy, Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto with Christmas tree. Garland here. Garland, no pockets. This one is a 2020 um, ugly Christmas sweater bag. So a lot of people were trying to pick like the best pattern to get for their bag. This is the one that I got because <laughs> I ordered mine online. But so we've got ornaments, snowflakes, a uh, castle, Mickey with um, stockings and bells. And then this side shows that you could get like the pattern of all the rides. I like the teacups there. A lot of people wanted the pattern where it was just all castles or all Mickey. Um, this feels really, really soft, like almost like Italian leather, even though these all, you know, aren't real leather. But so this Disney Parks bag, I've used quite a bit. I like it. And the inside, is just um, a white snowflake with red and green. They look kind of like ornaments or Christmas bulbs. And I just put on it um, from that year, this reindeer, his nose used to light up from Bath and Body Works. He doesn't anymore. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna show my Nightmare for Christmas bags because I've already showed them before and I should just make a video of just them but I am going to show one because this was brand new for me for Halloween. It is Jack holding his pumpkin head that he does at the very beginning when Halloween is completely over and he's kind of sad about it. This lights up so it's Jack you know all of his pins striped here we've got pockets really nice and then they have this feature where it comes on. A second so here he is all lit up his eyes glow amazing his little skeleton hands it's so nice imagine trick-or-treating with this on your back this one I have used so much and people compliment me on it still all the time it looks really white and shiny but it's actually eggnog so it's like a yellow color and it's supposed to be it's supposed to look like eggnog that you're going to eat these cookies with. It came with these ears. And back then, this was the first bag that came with ears, like with it, because you used to still have to buy them separately. Um, I got this from the Loungefly website, I want to say. This was a long time ago, so I want to say 2018, somewhere around there fake velvet ears, which are super cute by the way. This is really well made. And then the tag's plastic, so it doesn't get in your way. It says lounge fly there. And then I love this mechanism to keep them. So in my opinion, it's better than the ones that are zipped in because it can't get out at all. When sometimes I have anxiety, about them being buttoned and zipped in with the other mechanism because it looks like they'll fall out when this goes fully all in the pocket, if that makes sense. But anyway, the inside pattern is blue frosting and red and green and mini and Mickey cookies. This is another Disney Parks bag. This is Santa Mickey. I have had this guy forever. Forever. And that's when Loungefly used to, like a seasonal one, would go straight to the outlet and you'd get it for cheap. 
this Santa Mickey. We only paid like 30 for him. <laughs> and now he's like ridiculous online. But this is fake velvet. He's got a belt. I used him this year too in the parks. People always compliment me on him. And this is Pie Eye Mickey. And then the inside is snowflakes with Mickey heads. And the reason I pointed out, like, he's Pie Eye Mickey is because last year they came out with another Santa Mickey bag that's not Pie Eye. And he's not velvet. He's this red glitter stuff. I bought the wallet to go with this bag, but I didn't buy the bag. And that's because Pie Eye Mickey's better. I'm just going to say it. He's better. <laughs> and the inside... Has Mickey, Santa with mistletoe and holly and ivy. This was a Christmas gift from my grandma. So this has a bell. We have this really beautiful sequence bow and this really beautiful pattern of mini. I think it's just all mini. Yeah, all mini dressed up as Mrs. Claus with ornaments, Christmas trees, and snowflakes, and then mini on an ornament with snow. This bag is so cute, and I'm so scared to use it, even though I got it last year. And my grandma got it for me after Christmas. She had it mailed to the house, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> and then we've got stripes here. She had my cousin help pick it out. Um, cause she knew that I like lounge fly, but she didn't know what that was and she wanted to get me a Christmas one specifically. So her and my cousin Brooke found this one and I love it. So here's the back. So cute. And I don't even know what the inside looks like. It is, oh, we have a zip pocket. And then it is a ugly Christmas sweater of snowflakes and candy canes. Cute! And then this is the food ugly Christmas sweater from 2019. And so I made sure to get one that, that had lots of food. I always eat the apples in the parks. So this has a lot of the Christmas apples on it. The snowman, the Minnie and Mickey, has the cookies, and the Rice Krispie Treats, and then the Gingerbread Minnie, the cupcakes that they always have, and then here's the back. I love this bag so much, and I'm scared to use it because this was kind of hard for people to get, so I didn't use mine even though it's so, so cute. And then there's that repeating pattern of the candy canes making a heart. And then it's also one of those like soft Italian kind of feeling leathers, even though it's not real. The inside says seasons, treatings, seasons, sweetings, because it's all sweets, no pocket. It also has the castle, which is interesting. This was another Christmas present, and this is Minnie as an elf uh, with reindeer horns. So I don't know if she's supposed to be a reindeer or an elf, I'm not for sure. Here's her belt, and then she has a charm that is a glowing ornament. I don't know if you can see that, but it has glitter. And then this has buffalo check and snowflakes. And then her eyes are kind of like sewn on, but her nose is soft. Here's the pockets, which have candy cane stripe pattern. And same on the other side. And then it has Pluto as a reindeer with also an ugly um, reindeer onesie. And then the back has Minnie. And if that bag isn't cute already, I lights up. She has a green nose instead of red for Rudolph. <laughs> then we have the hot chocolate Mickey and Minnie bag. Um, so it has Chip and Dale, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, 
goofy. Is anyone else? Anyone else I'm forgetting? I think that's everybody. Super cute. I also have like, um, it's similar to this. It's a onesie where they're all hot chocolate. It's really similar, but a little different. And then there is also little Mickey peppermints and candy canes. I love using this bag. <laughs> I've used this in the park before. Loved it. It came with ears. This is what the inside pattern looks like. Gingerbread brown with hot chocolate, peppermint, candy cane, and um, holly. Yeti bag. This was for Christmas time. He kind of almost looks like a fuzzy egg when you look at him. <laughs> But this is the Yeti. I put a Yeti um, keychain on him from the park. And he is so soft and I am really worried I will mess him up the first day I use him. The blue is this beautiful baby blue color. He does have pockets. The back, I wish they would have put something about the Yeti uh, right on the back or something. Or a little image of him, but they didn't. Probably because the fake fur cost so much to make him. All chibi in a pocket. I should put and then we've got peanuts. We have Snoopy and Woodstock. It's a gingerbread house. Of course I had to get it. Food. This looks like little pieces of gingerbread. You know the holes in it. Peppermint and gumdrops. And this is a pocket that is also used for ears. I don't have ears of anything that would match this. I guess I could wear like some Mickey gingerbread ears, but it's not gonna be, you know, Woodstock or Snoopy, but that's okay. The inside is peppermint, frosting, uh, Snoopy doing different things, Woodstock on doing different things, mainly on the gumdrops. I have this from the Hallmark store. The zipper tab for the ear part is a rubber peppermint. And then the back, super cute. It is a wreath with Snoopy and a food coma from eating all that gingerbread. <laughs> it is scented too, which I haven't smelled it. Let's give it a smell. Soft, soft, soft hint of gingerbread. But yeah, so there's that one. And then here is Beauty from Beauty and the Beast. She's that fake velvet, like Santa. She's an old one. I actually got a good deal on her. So it was on Modern Pinup. They were doing a blind box sale where you bought so many bags and they would give you like mystery bags. You didn't know what you were getting. This was one of the ones that I got along with a um, Harry Potter one, which was really nice too, which is a lot of people's Christmas bag as well. Uh, let's see if you can see it. It's right here, but it's of Diagon Alley, and it has the um, Weasley's Toy Store on it and the wand shop. This was the other bag, the bag I wanted, <laughs> and then it just came in. So it's Belle reading a book, and this book says, Be Beautiful Inside and Out, and it's got the rose. You can see her beautiful, like, brownish-green eyes there, and then this is a pocket with a glittery snowflake and the ends this beautiful silhouette pose of the rose books anything else there's that rose and books and that's what's on the inside too and bella's just like whatever get out of here and then it has the three girls on the back with abu is that his name that guy and then on the inside it says biceps to spare and then different positions of like Gaston and the girls that are always falling over him. I have my mom this wallet too. <laughs> she uses it every day. So, yep. This is my last Christmas bag and some of you are going to scoff at this. But it is Christmas. This came on sale because most people are going to be like, why do I want a Chinese New Year's bag? I wanted it. <laughs> it has Judy Hopps on it. It has the White Rabbit. It has Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh. And it has um, the March Hare. And the two rabbits from Sleeping Beauty. 
and tag along the little like rabbit from Robin Hood. All with Chinese New Year um, lanterns. So this can be a backpack or it can be a shoulder bag. The straps are cool too because it's this pretty like iridescent kind of sparkly 90s look. And like a gold coin, you know? And then I love that the front pocket is the red and the red envelope that you would like give money, you know, or your fortune or something. And when you open it, ta da! Rabbit holding some, it looks like wontons. Sorry, holding some um, bow or some steam buns there. <laughs> Fireworks and little gold coin for the Chinese New Year. This closes with a button snap there. Oh, it's so cute. I do have um, one more bag. I am getting this Christmas, so I'll put a picture of what it is. And then I also bought a bag from the uh, Disney Parks, and I'll put a picture of that. I haven't unpacked that bag yet, so <laughs> I'm not going to show it to you, but you can see those. But yeah, anyway, happy holidays and season's greetings, and I hope you have a wonderful time with your friends or family. Please like, share, and subscribe, and bye!